Hi everyone, let's go ahead and get started with Matplotlib introduction course. If you want the detailed course on Matplotlib, you can watch my another course on Udemy. For that, you need to click on bit.ly forward slash ml hyphen ds hyphen project. Alright, so bit.ly forward slash ml hyphen ds hyphen project. This will lead you to my Udemy course, which is Python for Machine Learning, a step-by-step -step guide. In this, you will get here Matplotlib for data analysis. It has 1.5 hours lecture, almost 93 minutes lectures on Matplotlib analysis. Alright, so this is Matplotlib canvas. This, is, this whole thing is known as canvas. And these are actually the axis there. So this vertical line is known as Y axis. Here this one is known as X axis. And these are known as right side Y axis. And these are known as the top side X axis. These are the plots. And these plots are plotted with the help of these lines. And whatever you are seeing here, these, these are known as line plot. And there are there, there are dots there. There are many dots with a circle. So these are known as a scatter plot. And these things are also known as a spines. Or you can say that the x-axis or a spines. So there are four spines. You have one spine here at the right side, one at the top, another one is the bottom, another one is at the left side. And these smaller dots there, which you are seeing there, these vertical lines, these are known as the ticks. So these are X tick and these are Y tick there. And there you have the figure title. And there it comes there X axis label. And here it comes there Y axis label. There are larger ticks there. These are known as the major tick. And these smaller ones are known as minor tick. Here you see there, these are legend and these color says that which line is being represented by these color. So this is known as a legend here. Let's go ahead and try to write some code for matplotlib. We have our data here inside data folder. Inside this data folder, we will be using imdb moviedata.csv file. This file have here these columns. It has rank, title. Genre, Description, Director, Actor, Year, Runtime, Rating, Odes and the Revenue. Some of these columns we will be using to analyze our data so that you can quickly refresh your memories for matplotlib. Matplotlib automatically comes as installed with Anaconda. You don't need to install it separately. You can simply import this. So you can import it, import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt import pandas as pd so this pandas data frame can be imported as pandas and we are importing it as pd and here matplotlib dot pyplot as plt once you have imported matplotlib thereafter we need to set the some figure quality so we are going to set here the figure plt dot rc param and inside that I set here the figure dot fig size equal to 10 comma 3 and then I set here the plt dot rc param I set here the figure dot dpi equal to 100 so this dpi is dot per inches here which I am setting here 100 that will be the figure quality here all right, let's go ahead and load the IMDB data so that I'm loading here data equal to PD dot read CSV. This is method to read CSV file. Then our IMDB data is inside the data folder. I'm going to give name of IMDB. Then I put just IMDB and press tab. It will automatically autocomplete this file because there is no other matching file. So whatever the files are there that will just get completed there. Thereafter, I decide to read here just 50 rows, just for simplicity. I pass here number of rows equal to 50 there. 
that's how you can read just 50 rows you can get the detail if you press here shift and the tab you will get all the details about read csv parameters i have covered this again in this lecture there about the pandas crash course and previously we have also covered this in this section itself there for pandas crash course all right we have our data now you can get the first five rows of the data by typing data dot head these are first five rows of our data now i want to plot here line plot so for line plot i just need to create first a figure canvas that i can do with plt dot figure and if i run this you will see there these the figure canvas is being created and thereafter i write here the plt dot plot you press shift and double tab you will get all the information which we can pass inside the plt dot plot so we need to pass here x axis data and then y axis data so on x axis i want to plot inside this data let me just print its column data dot columns so these are the columns which is available for us now you can see there these th this is known as the canvas there that's what we were talking about in this canvas this is x axis these are the y axis later on we will put here the title and x label and the y label as well there so now i want to plot here rank and here i want to plot their rating all right so for the movies rank wise and the rating wise i decide to put here in the plt dot plot i say that the x is equal to data and then here i pass as rank now if i do like that it's gonna throw the error because we want to pass here the y axis as well then i pass here y is equal to the data dot rating thereafter if i run this it says that again there is the error seems like it has got unexpected you know unexpected parameter there all right so we can just simply uh, remove that and we can just pass it something like that and there you see there all right that's how you can pass this this one and uh, okay so it, it doesn't have that the parameter which i wanted to uh, wanted to pass that x and the y without the name you can pass those x and the y there inside so this is going to be the x axis this is going to be the y axis now you have here your now now you have your uh, uh, image here seems like image quality is still not good so i'm going to just set here the dot per inches at the 200 now you can see there this image quality is really very good and these ratings now you see there these are the ranking and here you have the rating as previously i told you these are the title you have x axis and y axis labels now we are going to put here x axis label and y axis label here so i pass here that is as rank and then i pass here the plt dot y label and that i say as the rating and then i say here the plt dot title and in the title i say there the rank versus rating once all these things are done then you can simply do here the plt dot so and here you get although you don't need to do this every time but uh, it's good to have this you know uh, uh, user friendly uh, things to put there at the last the plt dot so there you have rank versus rating there is the rating and this is your line plot that's how you can plot line plot in matplotlib all right i'll see you next lesson